Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here on this bright sunny day. I'm down here at Lust Hills Harley Davidson and they have been kind enough, and I really appreciate them, lending me this 2020 soft tail standard. Look at that thing, just a glistening in the sun. Just a shiny, beautiful, wow motorcycle. Uh, they do not have a 2022, otherwise we'd be checking that one out. Uh, this bike is essentially the same with the exception of the spoke wheels. The 22 models have a, uh, they're called annihilator wheels on silver on, on the 22s. And you can still get the spokes on them, they're just an upcharge. But uh, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine. This, uh, so we'll, we'll talk about the specs of the bike, what it's equipped with, all the parts. We'll talk about the styling a little bit. And then we will talk about uh, who would buy this, what's the intention, you know, what do people want with it. And then uh, we'll take it for a ride where we'll talk about comfort, seating position, how it handles, all that neat stuff. But uh, look at that thing, isn't it just, just a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. Okay, well, let's start with the engine. It's got the famous Milwaukee 8, the 107 version. That's a overhead valve. 1746 cubic centimeter four valve per cylinder the overhead valves are liquid cool or uh, not liquid cooled on this but uh, oil cooled it's a two spark plugs per cylinder we can see a good look into there there's one over here and there's one on the other side I believe and uh, just a massive torque monster of a machine I think it's 110 foot pounds of torque and the horsepower rating that I found was 87. Yeah, here's the other spark plug right here. 87 uh, horsepower. All that torque is just, it's just amazing, amazing. And the compression on this thing is about 10 to one. The front forks are uh, 49 millimeter with uh, about 5.1 inches of travel. That's roughly 130 um, millimeters. And the uh, rear, the monoshock on the rear, and I think it's an adjustable monoshock. I think you have to take the seat off or the side cover off. I'll ask him about that when I get back. That has a uh, 3.4 inch travel amount of travel back here, and that's roughly 86 millimeters. It's a pretty long motorcycle. Wheelbase is 64.2 inches, and uh, that's about a 1,631 millimeters. And what they've done is they've traded length height for length. So you have a longer motorcycle. Your suspension's in here. They have a very low seat and uh, incredibly low center of gravity. The seat on this is supposed to be 20, I haven't measured it, but 26.8 inches. That's uh, 681 millimeters. So it's a very low seat. I mean, look at this, just jump right on it. Oh, whoa, Nelly. But anyway, gorgeous thing. Fuel tank is three and a half gallons, that's 13 and a quarter liters. And the weight of this motorcycle, here comes the big number, 655 pounds. That's uh, 200, 97 kilograms it seems like a lot but the center mass is so low on this motorcycle that i don't think it's a, a real issue I, I was driving it around back in this area and uh, it, it just handles really nicely the brakes on the front are a 300 millimeter disc with a four piston caliper uh, it looks like it's a fixed caliper no it looks like a fixed disc with a floating caliper huh very interesting and on the back Again, a fixed disc with a, it looks like a two piston caliper. I think it's 300 or 296 uh, millimeters for 292 millimeters for the rear. You can get ABS on this. It's an upcharge. Uh, this motorcycle does not have it apparently. Anyway, ground clearance. A lot of Harley seem to have this number. 4.9 inches. That's 125 millimeters. Tires are 190 by 19 on the front, which is a pretty good tire. It's uh pretty light handling. I mean, I, I was very impressed with the handling. And the rear tire, 150, 80, 16. So you got a 16 on the rear. So looking at the style of the bike, it's a very simple style, very plain. You know, it's the, I would call it a minimalist Harley. For most motorcycles, this is pretty far out, but uh, for Harley, this is the, the, minima, the minimal design version. Uh, it's only available in black. You know, it's a standard. Uh, the idea is that uh, you buy it and you go through Harley Davidson's incredible collection of aftermarket products that you can do with this motorcycle. Oh, by the way, it has these uh, upright handlebars, and I think that's a 10-inch rise. And I've never ridden a bike with that before, so that's kind of you know, it's kind of an interesting three. Uh, here's another thing that's kind of minimalist about this, and that's the instrument panel or dashboard, whatever you want to call it. And uh, maybe you guys can see that it's got the fuel gauge. It's got a trip meter A, trip meter B, the speedometer. I'm gonna, this is the uh, cycle button. 
there's a range. I got 80 mi 84 miles of range. The time, RPM, so there is a tack in there. We'll just, we might leave it on that. The actual mileage, so we have 3,474 miles. Trip A, trip B. And let's go to the tachometer. Okay, we'll leave it there. Then below are the uh, oil light, engine light, ABS lights, things like that. This bike doesn't have ABS, but uh, anyway, look at that tank. Isn't that just neat? So the big seller for this one is it's black and chrome, black and shiny. You know, the chrome wheels, the, all this shiny on the front, the chrome heads, the chrome engine, you know, these covers, the transmission cover, all that neat stuff. Just a real, real shiner. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, it's got a six-speed transmission. And I, uh, the M8s that I've ridden so far, the transmissions are just great. And I have no reason to doubt that this is this will be the same. Just a beautiful motorcycle. The styling is kind of an interesting thing. It's bobbed in the rear. It's got a single solo seat, gunfighter style. You know, you've got this hardtail look on the rear end. These tool cut, these dual cut pipes. They look kind of like the stock ones, but they're, you know, those are Vance and Hine after uh, aftermarket. It definitely has a sound to it. You'll hear that when we get going. The, uh, these are, in Harley world, this is considered a mid-mount control. I would think mid-mounts would be back here somewhere, but uh, you can get Harleys with the, you know, forward mount uh, controls. But uh, I've been riding it. I rode it around a little bit in the parking lot, and it, uh, you know, I, I was very comfortable on it. But we'll talk more about that as we get going. Bell drive, of course. I think all Harleys are bell drive anymore. Just a gorgeous thing. Here's the coil pack, four plugs. Big old shifter right there. Just soak all that in. That is actually the oil cooler right there. Isn't that neat? Just hidden away. If you didn't, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't know it was there. Like I said, this motorcycle to me, the styling is classic old bike, minimalist. It's got the bare minimum to do exactly what you want to do. You know, I that's one of the reasons I mean, going back to the dash. One of the reasons I like the dash is uh it's so mental. It gives you all the information, but uh, it's almost invisible. You know, it just disappears. So uh, if you were, you know, you bought this bike, it, to other people it looks like there's no instrument panel. You know, but it's there. You know, you've got all, all that right there. Uh, let's talk about the mirrors. Uh, I love the Harley mirrors. I've always liked them. Every time I've used them, I liked them. I even had them where the, one of the bikes where they're underneath. They work great. Information button for the uh, display. Headlights, high-low beam horn, left blinker, probably has a left blinker on the left side, right blinker on the right side, Azure lights, start, start button, and kill switch right there. And as always, they have these gigantic, comfortable, beautiful levers on them. And uh, they, I think they call these bullet style lights. And on um, this, we've got an uh, LED headlight, and it looks like incandescent on the uh, blinkers. Let's see if that's true on the rear. Oh. Incandescence on the rear too. It also looks like uh, these double as the tail lights. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I like that. That's a very, again, very minimalistic styling. Uh, you can get rear foot pegs for this. You can get the seat on the back. It's the same as the, uh, I think it's the street bob, essentially. But the street bob is all darked out, and with the rear seat option, the street bob also has bob also has the uh, gaiters on here, and this is all black. You know, everything is darked out. But uh, just a beautiful machine. Beautiful machine. I'm always amazed. You know, they say 4.9 inches of clearance on the ground, but I think it's it looks like way more than that. I'm going to have to bring a tape measure sometime and check that. Um, kind of a beautiful thing, isn't it? Look at this linkage here. Nice and raw looking, you know, very, very, uh, very solid looking. That's a good way to describe it, I suppose, solid. But you know what? I'm Fuzzy Biker, and I'm going to go take that hot rod for a ride. Let's go. Wahoo. All right, kickstand's up. Clutch is in. Let's see what happens here. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you all hear the rumble? That's those Vance and Hine pipes. There's the tachometer. We're idling at about uh, between 11, yeah, about 1100 RPM. Lots, lots of torque. 110 foot pounds of torque. Let's see how I do with these. Uh, high-rise handlebars pretty good so far bit of a challenge going this slow Let's see if I can do it right-handed 
without killing her. Very nice, very nice. Let's give it, give it a little more speed, guys. It's a handful. It's a handful. I'm not used to this big of a motorcycle. Okay, there is Lus Hills Harley Davidson. If you're interested in a new or used Harley Davidson, get a hold of these people. Talk to Jimmy. He will be more than happy to help you out. Let's go see what this thing does. Wahoo! The center of gravity is incredibly low. You feel like you're right down on the ground. The amount of torque, the feel of torque is phenomenal. Seating position, uh, I'm upright, my back is straight. If you can see my feet, they're uh, ahead of my knees, slightly. My hands are straight. I'm reaching for the bars, just barely. Uh, shoulder height, just a little below shoulder height, I would say. Is it comfortable? Well, so far it is. I'd like to, you know, I'd need 100 miles to really tell you one way or the other. The seat itself is very comfortable, I would say. And I do like the riding position. There you can see the instrument panel. Clear enough. It's a very bright, sunny day here today, and I can see it just fine. It's an LCD. I think it's a 2.14 inch LCD. The bike seems to handle very well at low speeds. I, I like that. Uh, it was a bit of a handful when I was doing those slow turns. But here, you know, five miles and over, it seems to be doing very well. Just pulls away nice. Just pulls away very nice. Very nice. Beautiful sound. The bars are interesting on this bike. They got a 10 inch rise. My arms are straight out. I've never really ridden a bike with uh, bars like this before. So it's an experience and I do like it so far. Uh, 65 miles an hour, we're attacking 2400 RPM. Let's see if I can slow it down to 60. At 60, we're uh, attacking just about 2200 RPM. Very nice. Low turning engine. Not sure if I said this before, but I do love the Milwaukee 8 engine. The transmissions on the Milwaukee 8s are really something else. I think they're smoother than the uh, twin cam transmissions. They're less mechanical. They got good feel. They're still, they still, I think they build that very positive clunk into them. And I do like that. So the Milwaukee 8 is the next step above the twin cam. And uh, my understanding is a lot of the internals are the same, but the, uh, the heads and the top end is really different. They've got the four valve per cylinder, you know, so eight valves, that tends the name Milwaukee 8. They're oil cooled so they can run a little more heat on the top end. They certainly produce more power. And I will tell you that the look at those leaves, isn't that gorgeous? The power is awesome. The torque is just, you know, it's just phenomenal. The suspension is nice. It's got uh, a good grab on the road. I mean, look at that. Just the, the center of gravity is so low that it's still maneuverable for things like that. It does have a very long wheelbase. I think I said 64 and a half or something like that. Like I said, again, this is a very minimalist instrument panel, dashboard, whatever you want to call it. The idea is if you want something different, gauges or something, you can add them, add them yourself. But uh, here it looks like there's nothing there. It looks plain, you know, like they didn't even put anything on, but yet here you have all the information you want. This is the point where we turn around, head back, Look at that, just like a dream, just like a dream. Loads of power. The center of gravity, like I said, is so low that it just, it just, it just handles so well because of that. I would have, riding this motorcycle, riding this motorcycle, you'd never guess that it's a 655 pound bike. Listen to that howl. That beautiful, beautiful howl. I love it. I love it. I'm more of a cruiser kind of guy, so. But listen to that. My gosh. Those pipes are just awesome. I hope that's coming out through the uh, GoPro. A 300 millimeter disc on the front, but with a four piston caliper, and I believe Harleys all have Brembo brakes. So let's give that a shot. No one behind us. Oh, wow. Ha! Absolutely right. Well, very good for something like that. I'm absolutely amazed. The brakes are excellent. The throttling is very smooth, I would say. Um, it's not a jumpy throttle. It's it's a very... You know, it just does what you want without giving you any grief. Uh, I've ridden motorcycles when you just touch the throttle and they kind of jump in the air. This one does not do that, although I'm sure if I opened it up, she would. I believe I said 87 horsepower. 
and 110 foot pounds of torque so there's certainly plenty of torque and enough horsepower and this is the base 107 model uh, i think all standards are 107s kind of an interesting thing they discontinued the uh, evo sportster the air-cooled sportster and uh I think this would kind of replace that. If you wanted an Evo Sportster, or if you wanted a Sportster that was air-cooled, I think this would be the way to go. It's it's just, it's incredibly easy to, to do everything with so far. Let's see how she does in traffic. See what kind of pickup we can get here. Here we go, guys, let's roll. Oh yeah, she pulls. That's road speed no problem at all lots and lots of power i love the sound i just love the sound this is their blank canvas bike the standards are you know you buy this and you uh make it exactly what you want why would you buy this over the street bob well the street bob's all darked out this is a shiny model you know this is everything the street bob is without the back seat plus all the chrome i think this would be a great city bike um, if I were to come have any complaints about it the three and a half gallon tank could be larger I like uh, to be able to go 200 miles on a tank this is just, this should give you about 200 or this should give you about 150 miles on a tank full I think these bikes are rated at 47 miles a gallon you feel like king of the road <laughs> what a sound what a sound did I mention self-canceling blinkers? It's got that wonderful uh, M8 engine with that beautiful uh, six-speed transmission. The clutches on these things on all Harleys now are just fabulous. The uh, friction zone is so wide. Here I am in third gear. Look at that. 1500 RPM. Just lugs right along. It does not complain at all. It just does it. A beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Look at the beautiful Lus Hills over yonder. I don't know if you all can see that. The leaves are changing down here. We're in October, so hills. that you know that alone is worth uh, driving down the Lus Hills Harley Davidson. Drive yourself through the Lus Hills on your bikes. Get down here and check these guys out. If you're enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you're uh, thinking of it and what kind of motorcycles you want to look at, and we'll try to make that happen. It just pulls. It pulls like a freight train. So much torque. If you're interested in Harley Davidson, get yourself down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson right there. Ask for Jimmy, he can certainly help you out. Jimmy or any of the other salesmen. Uh, one of the things I like about this dealership is I like the way the floor is set up. And I also like the location. Those Lus Hills just across the highway there are just a, a beautiful place to go. Beautiful place to ride motorcycles. Life is short. Get out and ride. Ride down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson. Wahoo!